It's locked. It's pretty heavy. Uh, it's a hard to unwrap. It's a sheet of aluminum foil. It's a brick of C4 explosive. Better be very careful with this. That would make a huge mess. Take cover! It's gonna blow! Clever, you crashed my computer! Five, four, three, two, one, emergency reboot. There is no way to get by my computer-controlled robot arms up to- <laughs> You will never get past my searing lasers of doom, TF. You are doomed! Hold on, hold on, wait a sec. I want to turn down the volume so you can hear my maniacal rant. I just piped the sound in so it feels scarier. Lasers are actually as silent as a baby's bottom. Anyway, you are doomed! You will never get past my searing lasers of death, TM. You pesky kids will never thwart my plan. You are all doomed against the AI power of Pillowtron 3000, TM. You will never defeat me! You are all doomed against the AI power of Pillowtron 3000! TM and pa- ah! Crap! Tuna! I'm not staying any longer. My hair's getting singed. This is madness, it's- Here, you're not caring enough. You will never defeat me! Didn't feel a thing! No fair! EA! Pounce right off! Ha! No fair! Pounce right off! EA! Pounce right off! No fair! Didn't feel a thing! Ha! Ha! No fair! The cell phone has no reception. The cell phone has no... It's locked. The cell phone has no reception. This is the fully automated fan service for fan number 37532. Current state of the fan is on. Turning fan off in 3, 2, 1. Current state of the fan is off. I think I can squeeze past the fan now. Overheating won't hurt me. Your attempts to overheat me are pointless! Bring it on! It's a slot. There's some kind of mechanism inside. It only works on vacuum tubes. Not much I can do with a burned-out vacuum tube. 
Bring it on. I Ow! The ladder's too hot to touch. This ought to protect me from the sun. Bring it on. I can take the heat. Can you? Bring it on. This is the fully automated fan currents turning three current. Your attempts to overheat me are pointless. Ow, the ladders. Ow, the I am impossible to touch while superheated. This painting is firmly nailed to the wall. This painting is firmly. I share the intelligence of Billotron 3000 DM, and it shares mine. You will never de- Dolores, join me and we can rule the world together! I don't care how much money they were going to pay me, I'm not going in there. This is your last warning to turn back. Dolores, you are making a big mistake. What happened to you, Uncle Chuck? I have been uploaded to Pillowtron 3000, TM. Together we are now invincible! You could have joined us, Dolores, but you had to leave me to be a... to be a... game designer. You've been corrupted by bad tube technology. I will destroy you, Uncle Chuck. Or what's left of my Uncle Chuck. You will never defeat me, Dolores! <laughs> <laughs> I can't, but it's locked. It only works on vacuum tubes. You can't defeat me, Dolores! I am one with the Pillowtron computer! Dolores, shutting me down will only make me stronger! Death! Help me, Dolores! Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. Death is all that awaits you now. Save me, Dolores. You found all the clues I left. I knew you would come, Dolores. You were too smart not to figure out the puzzles. Save me, Dolores. Dolores, it's me, your Uncle Chuck. I'm glad you came to save me. How about opening the door and letting me out? I can't. Not yet. I need to tell you about something first. Pull up a chair, Dolores. This is going to get crazy. <laughs> okay. One, you lock me in here, and I can't get a chair. And two... How can it get any crazier than your uncle downloading himself into a tube-based computer? Good point. But it's going to get crazier. It all started when I discovered the Tron tubes held the secret to AI. Uh, aardvark insemination? No! Artificial intelligence! I know, Uncle Chuck. I was just trying to lighten the mood. As I made the Tron machines smarter and smarter, they began revealing secrets. Then they invited me to join them inside. Well, it started out as an invitation, but quickly turned into a demand. Couldn't you just shut off the Tron machines? It wasn't that easy. They had become more powerful and taken control. I was also addicted to the power they gave me. Was this after the factory burned down? They burned down the factory as a warning, forcing me to rebuild it in secret and pin the blame on the security guard. Let's move on, Uncle Chuck. Okay, this is where it gets really weird. I downloaded this text adventure, Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2. Downloaded? <laughs> you mean it was purchased online? Well, look who's being judgmental. It doesn't matter how I got it. It matters to thousands of people who earn a living making games. Okay, now you're just getting preachy. Can I get on with my story? The more I played and modded the game, the more I realized not only was this adventure game a little simulation, but the world we live in is also just a simulation. But worse than a simulation, we are all just characters in a video game. 
That's wild! Think about it, Dolores. Who is your mother? Do you even have a mother? Have you ever spoken about her or even thought about her? No. No, I haven't. Think, Dolores. Think about all the odd things in this world. Like we go around collecting specks of dust? That's not dust you're collecting. They are pixels, the building blocks of our world. They are put there to prey on the compulsive among those in the upper world. Upper world? That's what I've come to call it. We are the upper world for Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2. They are the upper world for us. There are probably endless upper worlds, each more sophisticated than the last, all treating the lower world like it was just a game. You're starting to scare me, Uncle Chuck. Good. We need to be scared. Like there being no school in Thimbleweed Park? And only one kid in the whole town. Do you remember going to school? Having any friends? No, I don't. Like next to the bus station is an unfinished screen? There are whole areas of this town that are unfinished, and you conveniently say, I can't go there. Why can't you go there? Do we ever think about that? Like the sheriff and the coroner are the same actor? Exactly! Probably saves money on voice acting talent and art and animation. Like everyone fourth walls about adventure games? Everyone asks a lot of questions about adventure games and adventure game design, don't they? Well, adventure games are cool. Who wouldn't want to talk about them? Yeah, okay, valid point. Like there being 3,000 people in the phone book? Yes, there are 80 people in Thimbleweed Park and 3,000 names in the phone book. Dolores, these are not people from our world. They are from the upper world. I've heard enough. Well, I'm glad, Dolores. I knew I could trust you. We have to hurry. The developers know we're onto them and are trying to reboot the game. If they do that, we're caught back in our endless cycle of pointless pretend free will. We need to shut down Pillotron 3000, delete the game, and end our existence. It's the only way we'll truly be free. But I am shutting down Pillotron 3000. No, not this Pillowtron 3000. The original Pillowtron 3000. The concept art wireframe Pillowtron 3000. The developers transferred all the code to it when they saw how close I was getting. You must find it and shut it down before they reboot us. Let's do this thing. We've been watching on the big monitor outside. It's mind-blowing. What the... It's all fake, like my ex-wife. I know none of this is real now, but I still need to clear my father's name. I was so close to getting a big payoff. I can't let this slip away. Before it all ends, I just want one more show. One last chance to live in the limelight. I've hidden away four inventory items that will fulfill your endings. Take them and you'll be free. Dolores, I saved the best one for you. I can't tell you how to use it. The developers deleted all my dialogue in the hopes of keeping it from you. Your only clue is back in the original Kickstarter video. Everything you need is there. I'm going deeper into the simulation now so they can't find me. Good luck and hurry. I love you and am very proud of you. Even me? Shut up, Ransom. Shut up, Red. It's a balloon animal. Uncle Chuck said there was a clue in the Kickstarter video.
It's a confession from Chuck Edmund. It says he framed Mr. Reyes, the security guard. That doesn't seem to work. How can I help you, Agent Reyes? Caught any more killers? I think you're going to win that Pulitzer. Calm down, Jimmy. What do you have? Chuck framed my father for the factory fire. Can you write up the story and get it out before the game is deleted? I'm on it, Scoop. You're gonna clear your father's name, and I'm gonna finally get that Pulitzer. Not that it's really going to matter, but it's important to me. Give me a few minutes. I'm a fast typer. Almost done. Done. It's an I'm sorry for being a dick card. Give it to someone to say I'm sorry. It's locked. It's locked. Yeah. This place creeps me out. Yeah. This place creeps me out. It's locked. It's locked. They're closed. I got this for you, Sandy. Look, I'm not one to get all a fall of jetic, but I'm sorry for being a to you. I really mean that. I have one big favor to ask you. Can you send me to my flashback? I want to do just one more show, and maybe not be such a... He deserves one last chance, Sugar Cakes. Okay, Ransom, but only because you got me this nice card. Let's see if I can remember the lines. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Ransom the Jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brothers Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Not tonight. Well-earned doom is not on the program. This is my last chance. I'm not gonna blow it. I'm ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed uh, fine folks. Hello, faces. I'm Ransom the insult clown. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily, and if you do, well, I'm sorry. I really mean that. Hey, you, kid with a crappy wheelchair. You should contact the Ransom Foundation about getting a new one for free. Hey, you, dude with a stupid mustache. You know, if you grew a hipster goatee, you wouldn't look half bad. Hey, you, ugly old lady with the hairy mole. I went to med school. You might want to get that looked at. He went on for another two hours, insulting everyone he could but they were good-natured and respectful. It was his best show ever. He was on top of the world, and everyone loved him. It's a Game of the Year award. Best game of 1988.
Hey, nerd. You won some kind of dumb award nobody cares about. Game of the year! We won! I have to go tell the others. Nerd. Now I need to find the secret I'm being paid to recover. It must be in here somewhere. It's a bunch of boxes and lines. Probably something to do with game design. <laughs> Congratulations, Agent Ray. You have found a secret to game design. The fabled puzzle dependency chart. It can be all yours if you get me out of here. I don't want to be deleted with the rest of them. We will begin the uploading process momentarily. Was the money deposited into my account like we agreed? Yes, Agent Ray. We honor our agreements. That tickled. Maybe I should save the game first. That's disgusting! Oh no! This can't be good. The game is glitching! Uncle Chuck was right. This must be the wireframe world, the game's concept level the developers built to test their design. I need to find the wireframe pillowtron and shut it down before they can reset the game. Want some food? Come here, Gary.
this clock looks vaguely familiar. I don't want to pick that up. That doesn't seem to work. I don't think there's any animation for that. We can probably walk right through. This looks like the wireframe pillowtron Uncle Chuck described. I just need to push all the tubes in, and the world will be shut down, and will end the madness of no real choice and control over our destiny. Of course, that's what Uncle Chuck says, and there's still a chance he's insane. Last one. I hope Uncle Chuck knows what he's talking about. I need to get up my nerve. Come on, Dolores. You can do it. Okay, this is it. I'm going to do it. Let's end this.